with Lauren Joy. I'm Neil Robbins. Ian McKay. I'm Alberto Arribas. So, firstly, can you tell me a bit about yourself and how you got involved with Lost Weekend? So, I'm a scientist at the Met Office. I have spent most of my career creating forecasting systems for, for weather and, and climate and, and so on. And for the last three years, I have been in charge of the informatics lab. And you can think of the informatics lab as the main kind of innovation department and, and technology research and development department within the Met Office. And in the informatics lab, we create quite a lot of technology solutions, but more generally, actually, we try to understand problems and how to fix them. And we get talking to a lot of people, so quite a lot of uh, companies like NASA or Alibaba or Amazon, and, and that generates quite a lot of interesting projects. And one of the things that frustrated may be is not the right word, but kind of it was a bit annoying, is that a lot of interesting things are happening in Exeter, and many people didn't know about that. So we got talking to quite a lot of colleagues and friends and people we knew around Exeter about the idea of doing something that could put Exeter in the map and show some of the things actually that are really excited and interesting that are happening here. And people love the idea and hence our involvement in Lost Weekend and, and the kind of creation of the Lost Weekend Festival. The Met Office seems an unlikely partner for an arts event in Exeter. Why has it got involved? So one of the things that we do in the informatics lab is not only science or maths or, or technology, it's actually quite a lot of design and because we are trying to fix problems, you need to understand what human beings do and how they think and how they like to interact with things. So that brings a, a very strong element of design. So we have, for example, Meg here who, who leads the design work in the, in the informatics lab. And that meant that we started working quite a lot with artists, with people designing video games, with people doing all kind of weird and interesting things that was helping our world. And, and that's one of the reasons that we got very keen in organizations like Collider. And we are all kind of members of Collider or residents in Collider. And maybe you want to say something more about that particular angle? Yeah, so it, uh, it depends what you mean by an arts event. I think the way we really we're thinking of last weekend when we were coming up with the ideas it's really a celebration of creativity be that through music or through sort of you know interactive art but also people sometimes forget that creating technologies and actually scientific research are fundamentally really creative things i really mean this you know it's not just a case of going through process you're actually making something and designing it and all the same principles are included mm. so as alberto was saying really there are lots of people doing lots of really creative interesting things but also, they're sort of doing them in isolation a lot of the time. We really wanted to try and get that community and extra together. People who are really trying to do interesting, new, cutting-edge, adventurous things that um, you know really define what's going to be happening in a few years' time. 